All right, good morning uh, from the Emergency Operations Center here in Seminole County. I wanted to give you a, a quick update on what's going on here. Uh, most everybody has received uh, multiple alerts from the National Weather Service overnight uh, through emer the emergency broadcast system uh, due to flash flooding. Uh, flash flooding occur started to occur around 315 and has continued throughout the morning. We have un uh, unprecedented historic flooding here in Seminole County. Uh, communities reporting flooding include Altamont Springs, Geneva, Lake Mary, Heathrow, Wakaiva, Winter Springs, and really just about anywhere in the county you can find localized flooding. Most all tributaries, the St. John's River and Little Wakaiva River are all in, uh, in flood stage uh, a little, along the Little Wakaiva River. Uh, it, we are now at a historic level, never been at this point in recorded history. We have flood terrain vehicles from the fire department and law enforcement out uh, in these areas right now and uh, have also re uh, requested that the National Guard, which was actually staging here in Sanford, uh, to assist us as well. And they're sending 10 vehicles over to help us uh, as we do um, rescues in those areas and uh, save uh, individuals as necessary. Uh, our teams have been out this morning uh, and uh, we are reporting um, dozens of traffic signals that are out. Uh, I want to say treat each intersection as a four-way stop and I know that's going to be echoed a couple times but that's how important it is for us. We don't want any loss of life because of uh, a traffic signal issue. Only travel on the roads if it is extremely critical. So if you're a power uh, provider, if you uh, are a utility worker, uh, if you work at a hospital and you need to get uh, from that critical infrastructure, uh, that is a, 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 a reason, of course, to be out on the roadways. Uh, if you can stay off the roadways, of course, we are asking you to do so. Some of our lift stations are without power. Our water utilities are out uh, using mobile generators to pump those uh, those stations and then they move to the next one and so on. And they uh, have started that as soon as the sun comes up, they'll be starting that process. Uh, right now we have over 80,000 uh, customers here in Seminole County uh, without power, Duke and FPL are positioned to respond uh, once it is safe to do so. And we have great partnerships with them. Uh, they're sitting uh, just right by, back here uh, prepared to respond uh, with their teams. We ask you to please report uh, damage to us. Uh, individuals can report damage uh, by filling out a form at prepareseminal.org. You can do that. It's web phone, uh, uh, phone friendly. Uh, if you go to prepareseminal.org and under the damage assessment tab, uh, this will allow us to track any critical needs. Damage assessment teams are ready to respond after the storm. Uh, these uh, damage collection numbers will help us uh, to get assistance uh, much quicker to those that may need it uh, right after the storm passes and it becomes safe to do so. With that, I would like to turn it over to the fire chief for additional comments. Chief. Thank you, Alan. Uh, good morning. Uh, as Alan mentioned, we've had many residents without power. As we keep stressing, generator safety is of great importance and you must keep them 20 feet away from your house and make sure they're never in an area that's not ventilated. Due to extreme flooding throughout the county, we are getting 911 calls this morning of stranded vehicles in the water. We are stressing again to everyone, we need your help. Stay off the roads. But if you have to be on the roads, remember, anytime you come to a flooded area, remember, turn around, don't drown. Do not attempt to cross flowing water as little as six inches of water can knock you off your feet. Electrocution is the second leading cause of death in flooding situations. Do not go into the water. As always, our personnel are here to save and protect lives and property, but the safety of our first responders is also important. We don't want our first responders going through dangerous flood waters unnecessarily. Call 911 for emergencies. Remember, it's easy to forget that you were using what you were using when the power went off. To avoid safety hazards, unplug, or turn off appliances and equipment that you had running prior to the power going off. We've had fires start in the past uh, from ovens being turned back on and things such as pizza boxes being left on top of them. The oven turns back on and that can start a fire. In the fire department last night we had a total of 250 calls to 911. Predominantly most of them pertain to the downed power lines, uh, some motor vehicle ac accidents and a lot of mechanical fire alarms. We had a high volume of electrical hazard type calls with electrical panels on 
houses. Uh, some of these were dependent on oxygen tanks and needed that power, and we evacuated those residents. Currently, because of flooding and the number of 911 calls we are receiving, we have begun delaying response to non-emergency calls such as mechanical fire alarms, uh, trees down, and power lines down. This will be a slow and steady recovery. Please be patient and keep yourself safe. I'd like to turn it over to Sheriff Dennis Lima. Thank you, uh, <clears throat> thank you, Chief, and uh, good morning. Deputies and police officers throughout uh, Seminole County were out throughout the night patrolling the streets. And, and again, I want to thank our citizens and our businesses for self-regulating. Hardly any traffic that was on the road uh, throughout the night and, and again this morning. I want to thank all of our businesses for, again, closing businesses down, securing. There's nothing going on out there. There's no reason why anyone should be on the roadway. All the businesses are closed. Uh, if somebody wants to get kind of a glimpse of what's going on, you just have to tune in to whatever lo local news station that, station that you watch, and they're giving good video footage of unprecedented flooding and some of the hazards that are out there. A lot of the stop signs that are normally uh, positioned on, on uh, poles are gone. Uh, make sure you're being mindful of those areas as well as, once again, uh, treat any intersection that does not have power as a four-way stop. A significant amount of power loss means that these intersections are just open. And, uh, and it's again, if you're on the road, make sure that it's on, on the road for a purpose. You're working in one of these high-risk positions. You need to be in there, but just don't go joyriding around. Again, the conditions are very dangerous out there. Uh, 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 no wake. Uh, Alan Harris will be signing an executive order at our request here uh, in a few moments that, that, that require that there be no wake on a roadway. Typically, we talk about wake. We're talking about waterways and other areas, but, but we have had problems in the past with people flying through roadways, uh, shooting up a wake into people's yards on their mailboxes, and potentially doing damage. It is incredibly dangerous to do that, so there will be an executive order here in Seminole County that does not allow motorists driving up and down the road through water to throw a wake on, on other areas. Uh, in addition to that, we're also going to uh, uh, put an executive order in for no motorized boats on the roadways. And again, you know, we understand that there are certain circumstances where people may need assistance getting back to their home. Uh, uh, Non-motorized boats are going to be perfect for that. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office stands ready to assist citizens when necessary with our heavy vehicle and equipment into flooded areas. We have five of those heavy vehicles. We've requested another uh, five from, from the, the uh, United States military. And of course, the National Guard is, is assisting us with 10 of their vehicle trucks as well. So that executive order will be no wake on the roadways and, and then again, no motorized boats on the roadways. The last thing we want people is going up 1792 or or one of the other thoroughfares throughout Seminole County uh, with a motorized boat. Uh, I want to then thank the, uh, the public safety professionals that have been out uh, working all night. Many of them have received damage to their own homes and their families are at home. We had a deputy have a, a tree fall on a, a, a parked patrol vehicle, but uh, it could have been a lot more damaging and a lot worse uh, to human life uh, here in Seminole County. We're not through this yet. The rain will continue, which means the flooding will continue and all the dangers are still out there. But again, thank you for uh, self-regulating. Thank you for staying off the roads and thank you uh, for being mindful of all of these hazardous conditions. Uh, that concludes our briefing right now. We'll come back to you when we have more information to share uh, later today.